guys, it's Carol with a K, makeup artist and beauty expert with IC Artistry. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. Please remember to share, like, and subscribe so that you can see all of the looks that I'll be putting on here for you. So I get asked quite often about wearing bright colors in makeup, particularly on um, a darker skin tone, because you don't want to look clownish. You want something that's going to match with your surface tone as well as the undertones in your skin. So if you're not sure about undertones, please check out my video on complexion perfection, and that tells you exactly how to determine if your undertones are warm, cool, or neutral. So you want to follow those guidelines when you're choosing your bright eyeshadow color because again, you want something that's going to match not only with the surface tone in your skin, but also with your um, undertones. Um, remember, the more color you have in your complexion, the more color you can actually take with your makeup shades. All right, so here's the video. I hope you enjoy it. So I've already applied my foundation, powder, and concealer, and then I went ahead and put a little bit of eyeshadow base onto my eyelid. Now normally what I do is the deep nude um, long comb eyeshadow base, it's called the Aquatique, but this time I actually used their regular nude, which is quite a bit lighter in color than my natural skin tone, but if you use an eyeshadow base that's a little bit lighter, it will actually make the bright color pop a little bit more. And by the same token, if you use an eyeshadow base that's a little bit darker than your your um, skin tone, then it will kind of tone down the bright color. So if you're not um, feeling real comfortable, you can go with a little darker eyeshadow base and then that'll tone down the brightness of the eye. You also do want to make sure that you don't get a eyeshadow color that matches too closely with your natural eye color because you want something that's really going to um, contrast and stand out a little bit more and that's what helps the bright color to really so look good. So brown eyes I always say we're the luckiest of all because we can wear just about any color and it will help the brown to stand out in our eyes. Um, so you can do blues or greens or purples. Um, just choose a color that you feel comfortable with and then again keep in mind the guidelines for warm, cool, and neutral undertones so that it matches with your complexion. So the color that I chose to use today is a bright blue and the bright blue shade I'm going to use is actually a color from Lancome. It was in one of their free gift sets. It's this one right down here. Um, I'm not even sure if they still make this shade. It's a, kind of a sapphire blue tone. But you can choose any color that you like. And when you're doing your bright eyeshadow color, you also want to make sure that you apply it mainly onto the eyelid. That's where the focus of your eye, um, bright eyeshadow should be. And then you're going to contrast it with a different color in the crease and then with the brow one. And I'll show you how to do that. So I finished applying the bright shade onto my eyelid. So now I'm going to take a neutral color and I'm going to apply that into the crease on my eye so that it will really play off of the bright shade that I have on my eyelid. And I'm actually going to be using a color from MAC. This one is called Embark, but it's just kind of a neutral brown tone. And so you can do this by picking a color that matches, again, with your skin tone and your undertone. You don't want it to clash with the color, you just want it to kind of play off of it so that the focus is on the bright color on your eyelid. Get with the flow, body hotter than the sauna. Stop acting like you're grown. If so, own up. I want to take you across the world, flowing like the now. Now, for the shape of my eye, I'm just shading into the crease with my little blender brush. I'm not going on this outside corner because that would close my eyes off a little bit. So, you want to make adjustments according to what your eye shape is. It's perfectly fine to shade into here if you'd like to do that. But on my eyes, I want the brightness of the color to stand out. So, I'm going to leave that little corner wide open. So next I'm going to use just a neutral tone and this is also from MAC, it's called Honesty. And I'm going to put this just right below my brow bone, right up here, just to accent the shape of my brows. So I'm going to use this little flat eyeliner brush and I'm going to go under the bottom of my eye with this bright blue to really make the brightness of the color stand out. Business, cause it's worth it. I know we all gotta find our way. Tom Hanks, sometimes we gotta 
take kiss Bobby Boucher. I used to feel lost midway on our passes till my third eye opened. Now, now I'm gonna outline my eye with a little bit of eyeliner pencil. And I like to outline the inside of my eyelids, but you don't have to necessarily do that. Um, I have a large enough eye that it doesn't close my eye off if I outline on the inner rim of the eye. So I'm gonna use a black, but with this color eyeshadow, you could also use a navy blue that would work as well. And I'm gonna be using this Makeup Forever long wearing eyeliner pencil in black. I'm also going to outline the top of my eye and I'm going to use this Smashbox gel eyeliner. This is the Jet Set um, eyeliner gel in deep black and I'm going to do this on the top of my eye. So now I'm going to do a soft color onto my cheeks, just kind of a neutral tone, nothing that's going to compete with my bright eyeshadow. So with your bright eyeshadow, you want to do a fairly subdued lip. So I'm going to use a color from Lancome. It's called Amon Sucre. It's kind of a neutral kind of almost like a taupey, beigey, brown tone. And I'm gonna put that onto my lips. So that's your bright eyeshadow look paired up with a more toned down or neutral lip color. Be sure and add lots of mascara or lashes if you like. Um, either one will work with this look. So that's it for today. Uh, please let me know how you like this video and please leave me um, any comments here or on any of one of my pages and let me know if there's any look that you would like to see me do. All right, until next time, stay beautiful. Practice make perfect no flaws inception. So when I flow, it's right on schedule. Premeditated with that herbal.